Everybody, I'm here we're doing a review video on the Trifield meter model 100 XE. One of the best meters you can get. You got to spend you got to spend a fair amount of money to get something that's really accurate. Uh, it's already going. Uh, <laughs> it's already hitting some high levels here. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, I spent a fair amount, but I got a used model. Um, it's pretty much actually brand new. Uh, and so this measures magnetic, 0 to 100 milligauss range, and then, then also into the decimal range, 0 to 3, for real sensitive measurements, um, for probably like more smaller devices that are maybe closer to your body. Uh, electric, it also does for like leaks and things like that, and grounding purposes, radio and microwave frequencies. Uh, it does it all. It's so cool. So uh, you got to get something like this if you really want to measure the equipment that you're using. You can't just get something cheap, some $30, $40, $50 thing. Uh, you got to spend a fair amount. So the biggest risk you have to assess is health equipment or electrical equipment of any kind that you're using a lot on a regular basis. That's when you can really have some bad health consequences. So laptop, computer, a lot of people use those. They're really bad because there are not the, the whole internal components of them is right where your hands go and you're using that for how many hours versus having something like this you know external keyboard it uses infrared so uh you know laser um you don't want to do bluetooth if you can avoid it but so most of these wireless keyboards things like that are fine uh you want to use something like that if you're using a laptop i'll show you why in a second so this is what i was being exposed to for years so imagine this is where my hands go your where your wrists rest that's 70 to 100 and going higher even, some dips, higher milligauss. What's considered high for having hours of and hours of exposure is maybe like 4 to 5 to 6 milligauss, to put in perspective. So this is like, is about as bad as it gets basically, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get, it doesn't get that worse than this. This is total toxic exposure, basically. They could be avoided with an external keyboard. Um, or just using a, your traditional desktop computer. So let's move a little bit away. So imagine that, you know, I'm using like that wireless keyboard or something or just not having my hands on there. We're fine. Completely fine. Completely not fine. Totally fine. Let's see about where my legs are, which is about, s I'd say six inches below where the laptop is. And we're just getting some spikes, it looks like, uh, that shoot up to like 4 milligauss, maybe. Let's go under here where I think the hard drive is. Not sure. I don't think it is. So it's not where the hard drive is, and we, and we can see that we're just getting a steady around 2 milligauss. Hard drives will, of course, throw off a lot more, um, and we're getting spikes into uh, the 4, four range of 5. Anyways, so we're fine mainly where we sit. Not not really a big deal. Um, if you're super sensitive, it still is a big deal. Um, but having your hands on the keyboard, it's just horrible. Horrible. How about having the cell phone close to the meter? Doesn't really seem to do anything. I mean, I do notice there are sometimes some spikes. I believe there's some sort of like crossover interference that I sometimes get with the cell phone and the laptop. I'm not really sure. But anyways, um, so yeah, I've been exposed to, you know, laptops for years. If you're using a laptop on a lap, obviously about the worst thing you possibly do. Great way to lead to prostate cancer, ovary cancer, things like that. Um, if you're using it on your chest, I've seen some people do that. Just don't use any of those electronic components directly on your on your body. Um, anyways, get this meter. Uh, start checking stuff that you use. So here's the perfect point. It's just something you don't think about. You're doing all your work. You're being very health conscious. Using your laptop to help other people. Uh, you know, share information on the internet. Whatever you're doing, right? And little do you know that it, it doesn't get any worse than that. I mean, uh, almost nobody would disagree with you. They might say... You probably get some real skeptics out there who say, well, you know, 1 to 10 milligauss, not the biggest deal in the world. But this is just, it's not even measurable. It's so bad. It's just way off the scales. So um, check, obviously check your workspace. That's really important. 
with this meter, but also check where you're sleeping, okay? Because you don't want disturbed sleep. Check behind your head, outlets, uh, alarm clock sometimes. Just make sure, basically, uh, where you're sleeping is not being affected. Anything you're basically where you're spending a lot of time or you're using something for a fair amount of time. You just want to check. If you have any questions about this video or this meter or anything like that, where to get one, send me a message or give me a call. Thanks.